Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. It's been a hot minute, I think about three weeks since I've uploaded a video which was migrating off run vlog but I'm back and I'm happy I'm back and I've actually this is a video I've been wanting to film for a while so I'm super excited to be filming it and the reason I basically haven't uploaded since Great North Run is essentially the week after that I went back to uni, I'm in second year of uni now so it was more so just me adjusting to that and getting back on like a schedule, oh my god I just realised you can see me in the mirror just ignore that. I'm back on track now and I'm ready to start like consistently uploading to YouTube as I really enjoy doing it to be honest. So yeah, although I really enjoy doing it, maybe this video might sound a bit confusing but I hope you understand more about, more about what I'm talking about once we get into it. And also I've gone for like a cute little um, pigtail look today. I don't know what I was thinking but um, I think it's kind of cute, you know. Oh god, what is going on with these little bits at the front? You know what we're just gonna take it for what it is and also like if you, it's like october 8th now a few days ago it was absolutely pissing it down like if you're in england you'll know and now i'm absolutely boiling hence why i'm in this nice shirt i really like it it's from new look and it's got like these little tie like ruchy bits um so yeah that's what we are working with currently so if you haven't read the title of the video which would be weird considering you clicked onto it i'm going to be talking about just social media in general and how it can be like detrimental to your mental health Something I really want to talk about more is, more is mental health because it is so important to me. Like I'd say in my first year of college, I'm in second year of university now, I had such bad like anxiety and like around Christmas times so, like seasonal depression uh, and I actually was diagnosed with anxiety so I'm not just like saying anything and it was horrific like I couldn't go into college, I basically couldn't go into work, the thought of going into work made me cry, like I was just so anxious, even the thought of getting on the bus was like enough to just send me into like a panic and like weirdly over lockdown where you'd think that I'd make my anxiety worse obviously because you couldn't go and see people you couldn't do like exposure to make sure you were like getting better and getting used to these situations I honestly I really feel like I've come into myself and like found like who I am like obviously not 100% but I definitely have more of an idea of like my values and everything and I genuinely think that's all down to how I've been spending my time over the last year two years and I just really wanted to come on here and talk about social media to you because I feel like that was a big part of it so essentially at the start of lockdown um if you're I don't know if you can look on other things but on Apple they have like a feature called screen time um my screen time at the start of lockdown was literally every single day averaging around 12 to 14 hours and I don't know what I was doing for those 12 to 14 hours and I, and I saw that and I was like what am I genuinely doing in my life like I'm spending over half of my day and just think um like eight hours of that would have been sleeping as well so what I'm, I'm literally having like three hours a day or something not on social media and that was like so concerning to me I was like what am I actually like like what am I actually doing on social media to warrant that amount of time on it and so I was like no I'm gonna stop this I don't need to spend that amount of time on social media like it's just not necessary and now my screen time sc screen time my screen time now is literally I think it averages about five six hours yeah obviously of course I know still probably quite a lot to some people but the fact that I've gone down from literally an average of 12 to 14 hours a day to five or six and I don't even like to me now I sometimes think is like that too like I don't need to go on it that much but um yeah I have literally dropped it by over half the amount I used to be on it and honestly it has benefited me in so many ways and I'm just gonna get into it now about how social media is so like obviously it can be such a positive thing social media I won't be posting on YouTube if I didn't like social media I won't have social media accounts if I didn't like social media but the most important thing is obviously how we use it to benefit ourselves and like what we're actually using social media for whether we're using it positively or where whether it's just affecting us negatively okay so getting into the first thing the expectations that social media gives us are ridiculous for starters the that girl thing like where people abroad like tutorials where it's like becoming that girl for a week like making my that girl schedule it's like it is so unrealistic for like 95% of the general public like 95% of the general public cannot dedicate their lives to going to bed at 9 p.m waking up at 5 a.m and like having a healthy routine every single day exercise every single day it's not realistic and I think it puts such an unreal unrealistic standard on ourselves because people are like well why can't I be that good for myself why can't I be that productive why can't I do this and that and every day and it's because it's not realistic for people in everyday life like people have jobs people have to go to school 
it's honestly and it's unhealthy to think that it's realistic but the fact that it's like plastered in front of you all over social media is what makes people think well if people other people are doing that why can't I do that and it's not that you can't do it it's that you really shouldn't be doing it all the time. Like, we all deserve a rest. Like, waking up at 5am every day, for the love of God, give yourself a sleep in. Like, it really is not realistic. And I think it's so damaging to think, like, it's essentially burnout. It's so damaging, especially for the younger people that come onto it and don't have a clue, like, what's expected of them when they get into their teenage years. To see that, it's just like a complete 360 on what they already know. And I just think it is so damaging to be like, see that getting pushed down people's throats and I just think people need to be more aware that it is okay to like have a schedule that works for you that is not waking up at 5am, sleep at 9pm, exercise, eating healthy every single day because it just isn't realistic and for me personally it wouldn't create much of a life like that rigidity it's like when are you gonna have time to like actually live like you don't realistically and then also the next thing again relevant to YouTube also on Instagram of course is the glow up you don't need to glow up. You are perfectly fine the way that you are. And now, of course, an inside glow up, of course, we all love that. Feeling better about ourselves, feeling better about the way we treat others, feeling better about the way we come across, how we feel, all that stuff. But again, I think it is so toxic to put across that we have to glow up, because it's like glowing up for the holiday season, hot girl summer, it's literally coming out of hot girl summer. It's like, it's always hot girl summer. Like you don't need to glow up for a special occasion it's like you are perfect and you look fine the way you are as long as you are happy you shouldn't feel pressured to spend like five thousand dollars and like what people are spending to get hair extensions lashes and stuff and of course i understand why the people make these videos like they get views and shit but again i think it can be so damaging to like push that narrative across like i think like they need to be disclaimer like you don't need to glow up sure like treat yourself sometimes like yeah you feel better about yourself but you don't have to and I feel like it's becoming such a popular thing now it's like you are just fine the way you are and it of course is fine to treat yourself every now and then like your lashes your hair your nails all that kind of thing like I get my hair dyed I get my uh, LVL lashes I get my nails but I am completely fine with the way I look without all of these things and these are just things I enjoy having like if I had my natural hair colour I wouldn't mind I'd just be a bit bored because I get I like changing my hair colour um my nails and they're more of a practical thing for me because one of the anxiety things I have left is that I pick them so I just get nails on to, um, to prevent me doing that but they look cool in the process and lashes again I just like them but I can get the same thing with mascara so it's just me being lazy um, but yeah again that whole thing just just love yourself and treat yourself from time to time but you don't have to do it and one thing that i really struggle with and still do struggle with at times is comparison because obviously i follow a lot of influencers that are like my age and um you see them doing all these amazing things and it's like well why why can't i do these amazing things and it's like you can do these amazing things you can do them but you shouldn't feel like shit just because you're not doing them right now because everyone has different paths in lives and I, I to be honest I hate um when influencers like you can do it like you can do it now you can do it now it's like no sis I cannot just like basically it's not something I've ever talked about on this channel is my goal is to essentially travel the world and create content like photos videos documentaries that kind of thing that will be my absolute like dream like my number one goal so I don't want to like shit on social media for that um, because obviously that's what I want to do but I just think there's a much more positive way of using it and taking content in um, and that'll be different for everyone because we all find different things positive and different things negative and the way they affect us but that's up to you to figure out and it's important to only put your energy into something that gives you positivity back Pos I didn't even say positivity correctly I'm getting so like hit up over this but um, yeah just literally put your energy into what makes you happy and then you can't really go wrong like if you're happy and you are getting somewhere then good for you like who cares like what anyone else is thinking as long as you are happy but yeah as I was saying it's like you shouldn't feel bad for not doing what like others are doing it's like your time will come and you'll be able to do them things but of course you're just in a different path right now and that is perfectly fine and again looks and what other people are wearing and owning and buying and stuff we are all on different paths and don't feel jealous, although it's very hard to feel like not feel jealous, I understand. But don't compare yourself to these people because they're completely different to you and also you don't know them. You don't know what their life is like. Social media is literally a snippet and of course people are going to show their best things, their best moments, everything like that. But it's just not the case. Like, everyone has 
shitty moments and shitty times in life, they just don't post them to like hundreds of thousands of people on the internet. Um, understandably so. Like, I wouldn't want to post like a compilation of my mental breakdowns on YouTube. But um, yeah, and I just think that's so important to like think about and realise. Like, people do have struggles as well, and yeah, they post the best moments, but don't compare yourself to that because they could be feeling shit while they are doing these amazing things you see them doing. And I just think that's an important thing to remember. And of course, the last thing I just want to add is um, life is just so important. Like, you want to get one life, do you know what I'm saying? live it and one thing that really got to me is I was literally spending time just scrolling through Instagram like every five minutes going on Twitter every five minutes I don't even go on Twitter anymore so that shows how much that was bringing me um but yeah like you're, you're scrolling through it and you're expecting to find something different it's like no what is going to happen in the space of five minutes on social media that you could that, like could possibly change your life or would like absolutely cripple you if you miss it and don't see it for another couple of hours like absolutely nothing like life is happening now like do what you want like pave the way to get to where you want just like work hard to do what you want and as long as you're happy that's important but just don't waste your life staring at an app like expecting it to do something for you because it's not going to do anything and the more, it's just not going to bring you happiness that was the main thing it's like i was not happy scrolling through instagram and scrolling through to it every five minutes expecting something life-changing to pop up and it's like what am i doing like you sat there doing the same thing and you're getting the same outcome and you're just wasting your life just putting it bluntly but yeah, there's of course nothing wrong with going on social media. I just think it's so important, like if to just sit there and realise that like what like what are you getting out of it? If you're happy doing that, fair enough. But I just think that like life is happening now. Like go out and live it. Like don't be so addicted to an app that you can't come off it and you just sat there scrolling for hours and hours and hours. And that's essentially just where I want to end on today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little rant slash like insight. Um, as to how I've like just become a little more positive on social media because essentially I just unfollowed lots of accounts that didn't make me feel happy they didn't I don't know they weren't like giving me any positive energy and there's um so that's one thing that's really like helped me and also following people that have the same like morals and ideas and just things as me it keeps me inspired to do what I want like my favorite inf my favorite influence for literally the last year if you you might know her off TikTok or YouTube I don't know Lexi Hidalgo I absolutely love her and the positivity she tries to spread but she also recently she started to become more honest that she has shitty days as well um, which I think is so important so if you're into like travel content travel like fitness or like just general things like that and positivity definitely go check her out she's a she's a really cool influencer um, so yeah that's essentially where I'm just gonna end it today um, thank you so much for watching I'm so excited to keep filming and upload videos for YouTube I'd like to continue going down the route actually with like positivity and travel content and just like how to literally like change your life and have a more pos positive outlook on life that is the kind of route I want to go down so I hope you enjoy seeing that kind of content because I just want to I want to make people happy and I just want to spread happiness I don't want to bring negativity anywhere and if I can do that through my channel then that'd be amazing so again thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video